what's up and welcome back to my channel if you are new here hi my name is Kayla Salenza if you're not welcome back this is my F1B mini golden doodle Kobe if you've been following along on my channel I do have a playlist that is solely dedicated to this little guy he loves the camera as you can see in today's video we're gonna be doing a 20 week pup date or update on Kobe so he is now five months old he turned five months old a couple days ago but I was super busy and I couldn't pick up my camera so it's the weekend now so I just wanted to show you guys how big he's growing give you a couple of updates and we're gonna be doing grooming today are you excited you're gonna get a little haircut Kobe actually had an appointment scheduled for today to get his first haircut with the groomer but we had to cancel it because where we live we're going in a second lockdown so all non-essential things have to be closed so we had to cancel his appointment so I decided that we're gonna groom him at home or at least try to for the most part we're probably just gonna do a little bit of a trim especially around his face and his eyes because it's getting super long and he can't see I kind of touched on that in our last video but I don't want to give him like a full groom because one I don't I'm not experienced I've literally never done this so I don't want to make him look silly in our last pup date video it was his four month or 16 week update and in that video he was sitting at 10.8 pounds so we're gonna weigh him right now and see how much he is at 20 weeks so to start we're just gonna weigh myself and I am 133.6 now we're gonna try with this little guy. So I was 133.6 with Kobe. We're sitting at 147.4. Dang boy, you're getting big. I did a little quick math and he's 13.8 pounds now. So he's getting fairly big. You guys can see how big he is. Literally when I got him, I could literally hold him in like my two palms. Now I'm using literally my two arms to hold him. You are so big, buddy. I kind of touched on it on the 16 week update, but he is like, so fluffy so much hair it is so long like just look at that face kobe has actually lost pretty much all of his teeth he has one of the fangs left and then i think the rest are adult ones i'm not sure if this is something you guys would be interested in but this is what his adult teeth look like as you can see that one fang is starting to come in this is the last fang that he has left as you can see on this side both of his fangs came out he's not cooperating huh. you little nugget you little nugget, you just want to bite everything, huh? But see his teeth? They're really long and super cute. We love them. Look how cute they are. We're starting to get at a point with his hair too that when we brush him, it literally feels like we're not doing anything. My fiance tried brushing him last night and his hair just went crazy again. So it's definitely long. It definitely needs to be trimmed. We're going to try and tackle that right now. Not sure how it's going to go. Are you ready, Kobe? Are you ready? You want a haircut? You want a haircut? So this is what he looks like beforehand. Very fluffy. He obviously looks a lot bigger than he actually is just because his hair is so long and so fluffy, but kind of just giving you guys a visual of what he looks like. You can see around his eyes and his nose is super, super long. So that's what my main goal to tackle is today. Are you ready? Are you ready, gorgeous boy? Oh, I love your head tilt. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready, Kobe? Not sure how this is gonna go because he's super squirmy. So we have this comb. We literally just got this from Walmart and then these long scissors. I watched a couple of YouTube videos, so I'm not a pro or anything. So the videos I watched, they said to always obviously cut away from the eyes and kind of cut in like a rainbow circulation pattern type of thing. Again, we're just gonna do his face for the time being. So we're gonna see how this goes. <laughs> I'm so nervous. Come on, let's go. Be nice, Kobe. A lot of people that I watched online, they actually had like muzzles for their dogs when they did this. <gasps> First cut. Oh, hi, baby. You're gonna look so good soon. You gotta let mama finish though. So just brush it through and then you're gonna hold the scissors and away from his eyes. Baby, good boy. He's like, oh my god, I can see. I can see now. Yeah, good boy. So my haircut's gonna go. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> Alan just said, is this how my haircut's gonna go? Because we're doing his next. Oh, no. <laughs> Why? He doesn't look bad. Let's take a look. He can see. Oh, baby, you can see now. Hi, cutie. Oh, he's so cute. Good boy. You can see it. Look at how 
white his face is now. When we get him groomed for the first time, I think he's going to be I think he's going to be like a different dog because like the t like the longest part of his hair is brown as you can see, but like especially on his head. But like look at his head. Look how white his head is now. Oh, baby, hi. Hello. Did we do good? Come here, baby. Oh, sit. You can see now. Look at his face. He looks freaking so cute. Do you want to tend it? You want to tend it? I have this little tendon that he's been eating at over the past couple days. I can't get it out. Oh my god. This is just a beef tendon. He absolutely loves this. Like, he is licking his lips right now. I'm going to give it to him as a little treat because he was such a good boy. Oh, hi, baby. Sit. Ah, oh, no. You sit. Watch. He's going to take it. Be nice. Be nice. Nice. And he's going to go run to his bed or his crate with it. Let's see where he goes. Yep, right to his crate. His crate is his safe spot. Good boy, Kobe. He'll be here until that thing is done. Kobe, can you tell us your thoughts? No, this is a microphone. Tell us your thoughts. No, microphone. What's your thoughts on your haircut? You like it? Yeah, okay, good boy. It is a couple days later, and I just received a little package for Kobe. We got him a name tag, finally. Do not come for me on this, but we did really loafed on getting him a name tag. We finally ordered one, I would say like a week, maybe a week and a half ago, off of Amazon. I will put the link below. I don't want to get the name wrong, but the company is Custom Laser Engraved Wood and Acrylic Products in Canada. So, if you're watching this and you're from specifically Ontario, Canada, their company is actually in Thor. Hill, so that's not too too far from us. We got free shipping, which was nice But I'm sure if you're from somewhere else you can probably still order from them I'm not sure but regardless I'll put the link in the description box below so when you open it up This is the pamphlet So there's like all of these different colors and designs and even fonts to choose from you can choose like bone shaped Tags you can choose round heart shaped ones, whatever. There's like light blue dark blue black pink red yellow purple So lots to choose from I literally just got it from our mailbox like I haven't taken it off yet so this is the one that we got as you can see we went with a dark blue bone and it says Kobe on it and then on the backhand side it says I'm lost please call and then we put our phone number we decided to go with dark blue because that's kind of like the color we distinguished for him his leash and collar are dark blue so we figured it would just match it came with these two size rings I'm gonna put the longer ring on it and then we're gonna put it on his collar and see how it looks you guys can't see him he's sitting right in front of me but I just took his collar off off. He's looking at it like what the heck is that? So that's his collar. Hi. As you can see on his collar He has this little part. So that's what I'm gonna put it on. No, you cannot bite it. Oh Look at that. What's that baby? So this is what it looks like on it is so stinking cute. Look at that He's so confused like he's trying to get at it. <laughs> he's not used to having it on <laughs> This is hilarious Kobe, what is that baby? What is that? What did mama put on you? <laughs> this is hilarious. He's trying to eat at it. He's like, what the heck? Mom, what the heck? Oh, Kobe, that's so cute, my love. Good boy. You're looking at mama with your puppy eyes being like, what did you just put on me? <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully he'll get used to it soon. Another thing I kind of wanted to talk about, I touched on a little bit earlier in the video was his teeth. He's losing his teeth, but within the last couple of days, he has lost a lot more since the last time I talked to you guys. And we're starting to notice that he's having a really hard time with it. I think he's honestly in a lot of pain because he's kind of lost appetite. Like it takes him, I would say probably anywhere from like 10 to 20 minutes to eat his food once we put it in his bowl, which is not normal whatsoever. Usually he goes and eats it right away. At first when this started happening and we started noticing it, I was thinking maybe he was sick and I was doing some research online and it was saying that when puppies are teething and losing their teeth, it's normal for them to lose their appetite, which I think is kind of weird, but also at the same time, I guess it kind of makes sense because they're in pain. So it's like they don't really want to eat. So that that's been hard because we were thinking maybe he doesn't like his food, maybe he's sick, so I'm still not 100% sure that it's because of his teeth and losing them, but I'm like 95% sure that's why. What we've kind of been doing is since we're giving him kibble, we've been adding water to it, we've been letting it soak in, trying to get it a little bit softer, make it easier for him to eat, and for the most part, it's been helping. He'll kind of sit there like he wants to eat, but he can't. I feel super bad for him. I also know his teeth are bothering him a lot because he'll just be laying down and he's like, I can't even explain it, he's like going like this. 
and like last night he had a i don't know it was i guess a molar maybe one in the back was really like it was super loose and he was like going like this with his tongue to it he was like trying to get it out himself i don't know so i know his teeth are really bothering him i'm gonna feed him right now I'll show you kind of what i'm doing you want food are you hungry you hungry let's go get food come on let's get food let's get food See, usually he would just run, like he knows what food is, so I don't know, let's see. We actually just recently upped his food as well. I can't remember if I mentioned that at the beginning of the video. So now where he's weighing, we're giving him a cup and a half of food a day. So half a cup every single meal, breakfast, lunch, dinner. So I just put half a cup and now I'm gonna add some water. So this is kind of what it looks like. It's a little bit liquidy, but it's gonna make it soft. I might've put a little bit too much water, but let's see. Kobe, are you hungry? You hungry, baby? So like normally he would just run to this and go eat it. I don't know, maybe because I'm sitting here. See how he just kind of smelt it and walked away? To me that indicates that he doesn't like it, but that's not what I'm getting from reading online. So I mean, if you guys are watching this and you know, give me some advice and tips or your feedback. He does eventually go eat it, it just takes him a little bit. Are you okay? Did your teeth hurt, baby? Did your teeth hurt? I know, I know. I just walked away and he went to go for his food. So he's actually eating it a lot faster than normal. Usually it takes him like 10 minutes to walk over, but that was like a minute or two. So he's eating now, which is good. 